This is one of the best UI toolkits I've seen for Svelte. Now, Svelte, of course, is a web framework for single page apps, and you compare that to Vue.js and React.js. Svelte is more of a, a modern approach in that framework, providing a really good developer experience, as well as a really fast and efficient web framework for building apps on the web. Now, there are a lot of UI kits that you tend to find with uh, Vue.js and React, and we are starting to see more and more come around for Svelte, and the exciting part is Skeleton is one of the best ones I have seen. It allows you to create adaptive, accessible interfaces for web apps of any shape or size. It's really cool. They've got a ton of stuff in here. In turn, uh, all the components that you need to build your web app, uh, uh, utilities, actions, components, uh, everything's already built for you. Uh, elements are baked in, and uh, it works with Tailwind, and the themes, they've got a lot of themes, color, they got a dark mode. Uh, it's actually kind of exciting in a bunch of aesthetics. Uh, I, I really think this is one of the top UI frameworks that you can work with uh, when you are using Svelte. Previously, we looked through the top 10 UI libraries that are available to us in the world of Svelte, that framework, that JavaScript framework. Now, it's actually kind of surprising. Not only were they were really good libraries that we looked through in the top 10, there was one surprising one that Skeleton didn't make it into the list. And after walking through the Skeleton UI toolkit for Svelte, it actually turns out I would say it should be at the top, near the top, if not the one at the top, at least, you know, top two or three, right? Uh, if not the first. And so we are dedicating uh, this video here for Skeleton UI, because I think it deserves uh, a walkthrough and, and just to see how impressive Skeleton is. Skeleton is a powerful UI toolkit that was built for Svelte using Tailwind CSS to create adaptive and accessible designs on the web for your single page web applications. Now, looking through all the options available with a variety of UI libraries and frameworks and toolkits, Skeleton, I would say definitely deserves uh, its position at near the top. So we take a look here and we see that Skeleton utilizes Tailwind, you know, the CSS library that utilizes classes and design systems. So it's built around Tailwind's, you know, philosophies and its frameworks. So it's actually paired really well when you built it in also targeting for Svelte. So if we take, take a look here, Scott, just all the benefits that you need, fully open source, everything. It's ready to go, full theme system. And really awesome, a variety of themes here. Like, I mean, just check this out. Isn't this isn't this impressive? Uh, already, just for you, uh, available. And then you can take any theme that's close to the one that you're looking for and, uh, and you know, modify it. Plus, there's a dark mode for every one of the themes built in. I really like it. It's actually pretty sweet. Oh, wow. And there's even a release cycle every few weeks. All right, let's, let's validate that. Let's see what's going on over here. It is true. It says last week. All right. Well, I mean, obviously, it could be, you know, a periodic build that occurs. Did anything actually change though? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. They're busy. So this is a very active uh, in development framework right now. I mean, this is just impressive. Let's try to build a skeleton app ourselves so we can just copy. They create a really easy to use single click button. We should be able to build our hello world. So it's really easily to see here. Um, and let's paste this into our window. Oh, this is neat. Okay, so there's a, there's a nice little walkthrough. So I can select even what my favorite uh, a theme will be for getting started. Um, I'll pick modern. Oh, I have to press, I have to, it's a checkbox. Okay, a couple other default packages don't need. Yes, TypeScript. It's installed. All right. Then we'll follow the instructions. It says npm install, and then we'll do npm run dev. All right, we've started our dev server, npm run dev, and it's up and running here. Let's see real quick. All right, we've got our, oh, cool. All right, it's ready to go. A nice little hello world for us to get started with. And it even tells us like, what are the next steps? Try editing the following source routes layout svelte. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, here's our routes layout svelte file in the source directory. There is, it's neat to see here because we have Discord and Twitter. These are like example uh, navigation menu items here. So we could change those if so we desired. Let's just say uh, other uh, change and let's save that. And oh, it automatically changed it for me. That's pretty cool. I can see that immediately. All I have to do is click save, let's, uh, Twitter, uh, but this is actually X now, right? So we save that and boom, all right, updated. They make this really easy. A lot of this uh, comes into the dev server with Byte, I think, I'm pretty sure. So here's our dev server script command. So we npm 
Ethereum run dev will run Vite dev for us. And I'm kind of curious to see what the build's gonna look like. Okay, Vite's doing our build for us. We're starting to see some of the outcomes here, some CSS files, I'm expecting some JavaScript files. Uh, one kind of, all right, so here we go, full manifest. Um, wow, okay, well, that's actually kind of a lot. Uh, maybe this is un uh, unminified. Let's find out. Let's see what's, is this unminified? Is it unzipped? Like for example, is it uncompressed? Okay, so I was looking at the server code, which didn't, it doesn't really matter if that you don't want to compress that. Uh, let's look at the app here. Okay, I do say that this is actually pretty feasible in terms of all that we got from that UI, from the experience. Uh, this is actually pretty powerful and the file size is not too big, which is nice. So that means that your end users will have not only a really good experience working with your app using Svelte and Skeleton UI Toolkit, uh, but as a developer, it's gonna be really easy for you to add new features going forward, taking advantage of all that Skeleton has to offer. The Skeleton UI Toolkit for Svelte and Tailwind, it looks like it has a lot of really excellent components that are built in for us that we can take advantage when we are building our application our single page application is gonna benefit from us being able just to simply copy and paste pretty much everything that we want. We can bring this and build this in. It looks really easy. So let's actually walk through some of the components here. So we see we have an accordion here, which has a nice uh, sort of b build out and build in of uh, hidden content you want your users to click on. Really easy to get the code. You just copy and paste this. Isn't that cool? All right, so accordion, an accordion item, and then you have your fragments in here if needed. That's really powerful. And then a bunch of customization. We have an app bar, which, you know, see here, will probably be here at the top of the screen. And here's the code, simple app bar. Uh, and then you can build in variety of different, ooh, eat headline, nice, okay. Oh, I like this one. All right, so, you know, with you get the uh, the triple bars here. Um, very simple, all right, it's a grid column. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. We also have, App rail, wait, hold on, what a side navigation. Oh, hey, look, we are actively using the side navigation right now. Okay, so that's, oh wait, no, this is something different. This is like, oh, okay, here we go. So this is this side of the screen, the far, far left, where you have these icons and the triple, the triple bars, pretty nice. Okay, and you just copy and paste that, boom. Instantly, you've got the, the side called the app rail. There's also some autocomplete, nice, already built in. We've got our avatars. We're, oh, wow, that's great. So you just say avatar in the source of the image, how big and then how much rounding you want to do. That's fantastic. And we have connect gradients, we have file buttons. Oh, I select a file and then you can, uh, uh, Oh, and even a drag drop zone. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so these modern capabilities built into app and the, into the web apps these days, you simply just copy and paste it. Whoa, oh, isn't that great? Wow, that's super, wow, that's great. I like that. One line of code and you get this entire uh, drag and drop. That's great. And you can even click and it will pop up a load bar. Then you've got input chips so you can, uh, you know, have these sort of like tags type situation. You've got a list box here. Um, paginators, you've got, right, so you get this pagination here. Progress bars, so like loading loading indicator type situations. Progress radials, ooh, very nice. Ooh, a rating system, ooh, nice. You have group radials, so you easy, easy single button click here. Range sliders, ah, yes, all right. Even with some snaps here, that's nice. Good for like maybe the pricing page or maybe how many of something thing that you want to, you know, have turned on or off, like settings, things like that. The toggle, the toggle button. Yep, very nice, very nice, I love that. Of course, you've got tabs uh, and the tree view, very nice. Ooh, it's even got hierarchy. Also, a couple of action items up here. We've got action for a clipboard, so you can have a copy, an easy copy. There's also a fill, ooh, oh, nice, okay. So you can take advantage of some of the advanced CSS capabilities today and apply fil color filters to images. That's pretty powerful. Not just images, I guess any component, right? I'm actually kind of curious to see what the source code looks like. Oh, very nice. Okay, there's wrap, wow, you just say emerald and magically it's, uh, whatever you've wrapped it in, it's gonna be emerald, that's cool. Okay, I'm really liking this now because there's even these extra utilities here like code blocks where you can just have a syntax highlighting built in on a page, so content, right? Uh, we'll be able to do any kind of syntax highlighting. That's great, I like that. Make it really easy. Just say code block and then the language. Fantastic. Oh, neat. Oh, that's cool. And there's drawers. Oh, the bottom drawer. Very nice. Of course, modal, so you can, uh, you know, pop up something and then 
here, hey, guess what? This is a thing that's happening that you need to be aware of. User, check this out. Oh, nice uh, pop-ups is another good one here. We can see a nice uh, pop-up button. You can put whatever you want into uh, nice use pop-up, cool. What is toasts? Simple notifications utility. Ah, okay. I imagine we're gonna see something pop up. Yep, there it goes, right there at the screen. So it's non-intrusive, but still informative to the user. Ah, uh, neat, an inevitable uh, contents, table of contents. So you can just, uh, you click automatic ID and it will scroll automatically to that section. 